51.9 to 48.1. This was the closest that, in my recent memory. Just 298 votes separated the two campaigns, with Rady Strickland coming out on top. Just like that idea that there were more than like two students that believed in us and had an idea and like believe that we would do a good job is so overwhelming. I think that goes to show that, you know, we both ran great campaigns, we're both very experienced, we've both have done a good job. Despite their loss, the Wilson Carter campaign says they're proud of their achievements. I think we brought a lot of uh, issues that students want to see addressed to the forefront. Uh, we had a lot of conversations, got a lot of people excited about student government. Ryan Lutz is the chair of the election supervisory board. He says unlike other years, this campaign season overall was very smooth. A couple complaints, um, a couple also you know, serious complaints that we heard. and um, I think overall it was a very uh, well run. Uh, campaign season. This is not a, a competition to eliminate however many people as possible, but to see no one get disqualified is, is a great a great win for SG. Dean of Students, Sonsia Reagans Lilly, says for Rady and Strickland, the hard work is just beginning, but it's an exciting time. It is uh, likely one of the most memorable opportunities they'll have. It's an institution, one of the largest in the nation, and we're very proud that they will be representing the student body. Both campaigns thanked their workers Thursday, saying they wouldn't have made it this far without them. They were our first supporters. They were the people who, you know, when we didn't even have a solidified platform, believed in us as people. We could have done any of this without them. Uh, we're, we're T100 still. This has definitely been the best two weeks I've been at UT. It's been just the greatest experience. Didn't work out, but you don't win everything. And as for President-elect Corey Rady, no one deserves it more than him. Gosh, this is nuts. Christopher Adams, KVR News.